It was three years ago when a judge's decision rendered a victorious embrace and a broken heart. It's going to be okay. You know? It's going to be okay. Well, it's it's gonna... The reason for the emotional courtroom outburst, this little girl named Amber. Amber special. <laughs> Melissa Fulcher is Amber's birth mother, and for years she's been fighting in court to get her daughter back. Fulcher lost custody of her daughter while fighting to save her own life from cancer, a brain tumor, and a coma. When I go into another room, it's mommy, mommy, where are you? And this is Amber's here. mother now. Paula and David King adopted her after the child's paternal grandmother asked them to take in the baby. They came out of church one night and there stood Mrs. Williamson with the child and the child's clothing. Here, take the child. According to court testimony, Amber's paternal grandmother didn't even know the Kings. They were complete strangers. Witnesses say she didn't know where they lived or their phone number, and yet she handed them the baby. I don't think most people do that with their dog, but that's what was done with little Amber. The main issue in court was a document terminating Melissa's parental rights. It was that document that allowed the Kings to legally adopt Amber when she was eight months old. But the birth mother adamantly denies signing away her parental rights. No, definitely not. I would never do that, and I never will. Melissa's doctor from MD Anderson Cancer Center testified even if the young mother signed the document, she was in no condition to make such a major decision. But Liberty County Judge Zeb Zabranek ruled Melissa did sign away her parental rights, and Amber stayed with her adoptive parents. We've been waiting for this to be over for months, and, and it is now, and, and we're ready to go back home with, uh, with our daughter, Amber. But this story is far from over. Today, three years after losing her court battle for Amber, Fulcher refuses to give up. I've missed out everything. I've missed her first steps, her first tooth. Melissa, her mother, and her attorneys have been eagerly awaiting a court ruling after appealing the Liberty County judge's decision. And it's been real hard and I, I see what it does to Melissa every day. And the latest court ruling is making it even harder. An appeals court agrees there were problems with the adoption. At the time, no ad litem or attorney was present to represent Amber. But they have a duty to make sure that the interests of the child are protected, and they didn't do it. But the appeals court still ruled against the birth mother, citing her failure to appeal the adoption in a timely manner. Melissa was in the hospital being treated for cancer. She was mentally incapacitated. Her attorneys hope to take the case to the Texas Supreme Court, but that court won't even hear it. It's just very disappointing uh, to have <clears throat> a uh, flesh and blood and a human life uh, given such little consideration. Amber's adoptive parents of the Kings declined our request for an interview for this report. But their attorney points out the courts have found no merit to the birth mother's allegations. But Fulcher says if she has to, she'll go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. I'm willing to do whatever it takes and fight as long as it's going to take to get her back. And the only thing Melissa ever did was get sick. And it's hard to believe that she could lose such an important piece of her life just because she got sick. Randy Wallace, Fox 26, investigates.